All right, everybody. Uh, I have with me a candle. I am I'm one of many people who have gotten one. It's pretty dark, and my phone won't turn, so I can't really show the people on a horizontal view. But this is just outside. There are lots of people gathered here at Highland Park right now. Um, and they're all here to basically be standing up against what happened yesterday in Virginia. So um, I'm sure there's lots of other gatherings like this around the country right now, probably at least a hundred, maybe closer to a thousand or over a thousand, I don't know. But there are well over 400 people here. Right outside, there are a lot of people that couldn't fit in. I actually had to squeeze to get out to do this because I wanted to do this outside. There are people talking inside, the NAACP, the ACLU, and a few other groups. But the cool thing about Highland Park that I wanted to say is usually the turnout isn't anything like this. But there are lots of community groups in this town, and I was fortunate enough to go to college one town over, yeah, just one town over from where we are now um, in New Brunswick. And back then, there were, uh, to protest the Iraq war, there are already a lot of groups spawning up that are still here today, and they deserve to be recognized. Um, so I'm kind of blanking on the names right now but I would like to go inside and just show you how much people they were able to turn out uh, at this time when it's a good thing for people to come together so I think I could sneak through this way I've been in this building before it's a church and just as like a little bit of trivia but it's not really trivial this church the Reformed Church of Highland Park is actually the church where Seth Caper Dale who's running for governor as the Green Party candidate. This is his church where he's a minister. So now my voice is going to get quieter. All right. It's a good thing. There's violence against the LGBTQ community. There's violence against the LGBTQ community. As prevented programs are cut. There's violence against the LGBT community as new restrictions come to our military and other places. There's violence against African Americans as Attorney General tries to again increase incarceration in ways that target black communities. There's violence against immigrants, where every undocumented family and all who love them are living in fear. Violence, violence, violence. May we, as people of faith and moral conscience, realize that every day, right now, is a day to put on the best possible display of our vision for a new world. And I believe that's what we're seeing here. And also to stand up strongly against all forms of bigotry, hate, and terror. The display of a new day and the real acts of resistance should be part of our daily struggle against hatred and for a world built on healing and justice. Amen. And yet now we seem to be sliding backwards. 
So having everybody here to make that presence, to show people that we care, and it's not acceptable for us not to be able to live together peacefully and to be able to accomplish all the goals that we all want for our own families. You know, people come here, put their children on a boat to come here, cross the ocean, and yet we can't make it safe while we're here. So we have so much work to do. Thank you so much for everybody working together. If my office can help you in any way, we're always here for you. Please feel free to call on me, and I thank you all so much for caring and for showing up and for being a part of the solution.
in our communities. And Bruce said it, well, there are people who sit next to us on the buses and the trains. I just came from the Middlesex County Fair, and I got to meet a couple of these people who don't believe what we all believe here. And it is so important, that pledge that Bruce had us take, it's important for everybody in this room who doesn't look like me, but also for people who look like me. I'm a Hindu woman, and I reject anti-Muslim rhetoric with every fiber in my being. that we place on human life that's different depending on where you were born, what you look like, who you worship, how much money you have in the bank, whether you have any money in the bank. And I know there are a lot of people here who worship at this church, and the last thing I'm going to say is I'm going to, I really thank Pastor Seth and all the congregants in this church and the people who ally themselves with this church, because you all have led a fight for immigrants and the undocumented that has been amazing. And, and I know because many of you have been to our freeholder meetings. And it is very passionate. And I thank you for it, I really do. Because it was your passion that helped push us along. We were going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, trust us, we were. But you push us along, you kept us on track. And you all should be proud that right now we are on ICE and Homeland Security's hit list. <laughs> Our Middlesex County prosecutor is getting tremendous pressure from our current president's administration to push back with the freeholders and get us to reverse our policy. Um, it, it's not the best policy in the country, but it's a good policy, yet they think it's one of the worst. They told us it's the worst in New Jersey, and they're going to try to put pressure on us to change it. We've told them in no uncertain terms that's not going to happen. I'm really sorry, I'm ending it here for those of you who just started watching. Uh, the battery is critically low, told me that two minutes ago. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I had a lot of comments on what, what, uh, what's going on here, but I have to, I have to stop it. But, uh, Actually, I'll say one thing, because I'm very opinionated. Um, other than the two people that started the video, that started the talk, I didn't get them on video. Um, the rest of the people that talked are politicians, they're the freeholders, or there was an assembly person. Now that's all fine and good, I guess, because they are supposed to be our leaders, but um, it seems this is a recurring theme with these marches and rallies that I've been to this year, is that politi politicians seem to co-opt it, and it becomes a platform for them to say what they're against. But um, I kind of like the open mic idea, and it not being just for people who are already elected to office. That's just my feeling. Um, maybe some people don't find that as aggravating, but it's something that I've noticed. And I actually uh, have been one of many people who didn't get to speak at other rallies because a politician last minute decided to show up and actually stole the stage. All right, I really got to stop it. Just said something.